Hi hey everyone, back again. Uh, I'm gonna call this the Don Smith uh, revival or something. Uh, just saw them laying on the corner, so I thought I'd throw them together. Uh, just to have kind of all my projects kind of working. Um, anyway, so this would be the double helix kind of board that uh, he showed. So I'm gonna drive this uh, open-ended primary here with uh, square wave pulses and uh, run this high volt winding on the C core uh, to these two diodes and those are both going to the one end of the primary just like Dom showed and going up to the primary coil and then out to the other end of the primary where there's going to be a gas discharge tube and the other end of the capacitors which are these uh, 100 nano uh, 10,000 volt capacitors so um, then on the output coils uh, just like Don showed there's forward facing diodes and uh, capacitance tuning on the one side which I found was uh, better than having capacitance on both sides, so uh, get rid of that. So, uh, then these uh, capacitors here, um, positive and negative, all in parallel for 2000 volts at uh, about 40 microfarads, measures about 38 to be exact, and then the output is uh, that terminal there. Uh, there's no choke on it right now. Mm, guess I could put that pretty easily. This is uh, a little bit thin wire though. Uh, guess I could use it for some thinner coils, but I want to keep the impedance as close to the same as possible. Uh, just meaning that the uh, wire is continuous. It never instantly goes too thin or too fat. It either gradually does it or it's all the same. Um, so, and then also the position of the primary was uh, important. So, right now, get it on this function generator that I got, and this little uh, <clears throat> hand tech oscilloscope. Uh, so, this is the really basic model uh, without the uh, arbitrary waveform generator. Uh, whereas, I've got now a two channel output uh, for this guy which I'm going to use for running kind of harmony frequencies on the Akula board, uh, which is running really well, but uh, until I get off my butt and uh, synchronize the output with the Tesla coil, then uh, yeah, I'm just mm, procrastinating, I guess. <laughs> but circuits aren't my strong point, so... Uh, but, yeah, I'll get it done just like I got these guys done. But in the meantime, didn't want these to collect dust, so threw that back together. Uh, so now, just driving the both sides of the primary with uh, about 230 kilohertz. So right now I'll switch it on. So right now we're deliberately out of tune. And I'll sweep up a little bit. Uh, so the sweet spot is about 270 or 280 kilohertz. And uh, that's where the primary is tuned and the secondary. So now we're up by 10 kilohertz to 243. We're going to go up in 10 kilohertz increments. Actually, right now we're pretty close, so I'm just going to go in single kilohertz increments until that triangular wave flips over. There we go. So we'll go for the highest amplitude. Uh, 
Yeah, let's go with that. And without adjusting the hundreds of kilohertz, we'll just stick with that. So we've got the highest amplitude and uh, this uh, somewhat of a trumpet waveform, as they say. Uh, just so happened to appear uh, at the highest amplitude, so it's not like I knew what I was doing or something. <laughs> but um, so now we will adjust the primary position. Uh, Try to get that in the screen. So this is just adjusting it like three millimeters inwards. Uh, so towards the top coil, just moved it from here to, well, that was even too much. Just a sec here. So adjusting it back out, too far, in too much. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so anyway, it's registering 256 kilohertz. So just the right frame division. This uh, happens to save 20 microseconds per division. It's where this uh, wave appears. Well, this pattern, I should say. Okay, so I'm just going to adjust the primary again. And the whole thing's shifting on me. Okay, about there. Without securing these coils, uh, I'll have to just kind of go gentle for now. But anyway, uh, you'll have you'll notice that the primary is not centered, and it's kind of favoring the non-capacitance side, uh, whereas this is the uh, so-called tuned side. I'd call it. So we get the best amplitude uh, while we're favoring this coil. And uh, by the way, I've got these. These are, of course, primary factory coils. I've got this going secondary. And uh, the positive side is initiating this uh, counterclockwise movement. Uh, so uh, anyway, that seems to be the best position. And now I'll adjust the capacitance across the top coil. Okay, and uh, hey, just don't touch anything, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, grab that. Okay, and so now we will go back here. Hey, don't stab that, buddy. Um. Uh, so we'll now detune it uh, in the one nano increment. Uh, so, so notice that I'm reading the lower half secondary and detuning the top secondary. So you'll see that it either totally drops out with one nano too much to fully back in to starting to drop off now so yeah that seems to affect the lower and the upper secondary when we adjust the capacitance here which happens to be 11.2 nanos so Don had about 47 nanos but uh, my coils just happened to ring uh, the primary dictated what I was going to tune the rest at. So uh, about 250 kilohertz here uh, to get this uh, ringing at 250 kilohertz 
uh, with the assistance of this capacitance. Uh, it's too low of a voltage though coming from the signal generator to uh, do enough uh, increase in voltage to overcome the voltage drop of these diodes being uh, possibly a 10 volt drop through these things so uh, we'll have to get the high volt running uh, to really see if this can put out uh, and I think what's critical Sorry. might be <laughs> what's Sorry. critical might be having uh, enough impedance in lights set up whereas most people try to just drive one light and then figure it doesn't work but that might not be matching the right impedance in the load on the AC load uh, so I think that's got a big thing to do with it it just needs enough load hooked up to it uh, big theory there but anyway that's how it's going so far and figured out the can you keep it down buddy and I just figured out the right tuning for this guy now, so it'll be fairly easy to run this with uh, variable frequency, variable duty, uh, square wave kind of pulse uh, with type thing. So yeah, it looks like it's coming together just like Don had it. And uh, we'll talk to you guys soon.